What up? It's your boy, Pat, back again with another BFF with your boy, Jake Wyatt. What's up? Yeah, yeah. And Jake <laughs> is brought to my attention. This we're, we're doing our first BFF with a non-alcoholic brew. Well-being IPA. Ooh. OK, intentional IPA, I should say. Right. Intentional. Um, thoughtful. It's a, yeah, thoughtful. Is it 97 calories, 13 oh. carbs? Bro, I got three grams of protein. Bro, I'm going to get so fucking swole. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this says it contains less than 0.5 alcohol. So um, and on their website, it says it's got 0. 0.3. So. Yeah, let's see. What zero it's sugar, zero sugar, zero. So, Jake, sugar. That's the yeah. game. So I got a. Ooh, OK. Right. It's still got like floral and like fruit That's- notes. Yeah, it's got a it's got a IPA f- smell to it. Yeah. Okay, so this is all right. Full transparency. This is my first non-alcoholic beer ever. Oh, dude, I didn't I've know never we were had one. It. So when you pour it, dude, it pours like a real beer. It is, dude. The pour, I was so surprised. I was like, man, it's like a non-alcoholic oh, beer. It's okay. probably gonna be super runny and like no foam whatsoever, dude. It pours real good. Yeah, it's custom. Some good head on it. Get some good color. Look at that. Yeah. All you non-believers. Look at that shit. Got this some carbonation good. in there. Smells like beer. Right. Here we go. I mean, all right. So, all right. Here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. Okay. The other thing I was really nervous about it was like, I was like, man, this isn't going to have like the <clears throat> mouthfeel or like the viscosity of like a real IPA. Yeah. And I was pleasantly surprised. It is a bit thinner than yeah. like, I don't know, like an Imperial or something or like something crazy. Yeah. But like, I don't know. It's full bodied. It, it's an IPA. It's just, yeah. No booze. Hmm. Hmm. this is yeah everything jake just said is is legit so wow that's weird okay so a little bit about this company uh it's formed by this dude jeff stevens uh he said he's he's a he's a (laughs) (laughs) non-alcoholic um basically he has a quick little bio it sounds like uh him and him and alcohol weren't getting along but he liked the atmosphere that where people drink. Um, he liked being in that that zone, so he decided to create this with uh, with his wife and Genevieve. Genevieve, and, what a name. yeah, that's a, that's a name. And um, I think they're in. I feel like I read they're in Wisconsin or something. Not was maybe Wisconsin, maybe it says Michigan. Like Fallon Brewery. In Maryland, uh, Heights, Missouri. Yeah, Maryland Heights, Missouri. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, dope logo. It's very the art on all their stuff is so good. Yeah. I'm like liking it. I'm swirls. Yeah, um, all the swirls and shit. I, I I dig this this art. So yeah. you know, like all the BFF episodes, this is actually this is surprising, honestly. Right? I yeah. was I was I was thinking, I was like, eh. Okay. You know, like. But it doesn't, there's nothing that's like when you taste it, there's nothing that like is taken away. I feel like, you know? Yeah. I feel like when people think about non-alcoholic beers, they think of their like drunk uncle who only now drinks O'Doul's. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Like uncle Jimmy had a problem. So now he <laughs> that's always the situation, dude. Yeah. Right. He had and a you, problem. Like, dude. Yeah. You had a problem. So now it's just O'Doul's and it's like just terrible. Right. And I don't know, this was first, this was the first time I ever had a non-alcoholic beer. Like I've never had an O'Doul's in my life. And so I was like, man, I'll I'll try it. And they're so good that I'm hooked on them. And the best part is too, like, dude, you could drink a six pack, wake up the next day and be crystal clear, like ready to go. And yeah, I don't know. It's it's an interesting change. It's legit. And I'm curious now, I mean, this is, weird for 
for your boy to say, but yeah, um, because and we've, I mean, we've made fun of how many different kinds of beers I've had on this show, but like, um, <laughs> it's a, like having there, they have a golden wheat, they have a dark amber, they have this intentional IPA, they have a victory wheat that we've talked about, and then yeah. they have a fucking coffee cream stout. Yeah. So like, I've had most of them i haven't had the coffee cream stout but that one's interesting yeah and i'm really kind of thinking like as far as cold brews go um or cold I and mean, cold brew coffee at least i think like cold you know cold brew coffee kind of it, it'll it'll hit you different like depending on what yeah, yeah. kind you get i wonder if this is like a good alternative like you just want like like, like a cold brew or something yeah but you don't want that like crazy caffeine on it you know yeah it's like the moments when you want like a coffee but you don't want to like drink a bunch yeah of coffee. yeah yeah i wonder if it's heavy too because there's, there's a lot of coffee cream stuff so it's hella heavy bro yeah it's like thick yeah yeah so anyways so i mean why is that why is this the one you know like why is this the the, the beer that we're, we're choosing um i don't know i've been on this one pretty much since january um i've been on this one because like i'm 31 years old and if anybody listening doesn't know uh me and pat worked at sixth ave skate park together um so skateboarding is like my 40 hour a week job Mm -hmm. and dude i can take a beating just in a work week Um, oh yeah it's rough yeah so i yeah have been on these and uh honestly my skateboard like level has skyrocketed since i've been switching to like the non-alcoholic beers Mm -hmm. Uh, and just like i feel better i still get to like hang out in the same social environment like uh the dude that made it like hang out in the social environment drink less often um and like you don't feel like the judgment of like oh man like dude has a ginger ale right mm. like you don't get like that vibe yeah you're still, like you're dude you couldn't even tell from the can you can't you can't tell not. from the can i think that's on purpose too but and, and you can't tell from the this is this this color this fucking the head on it i mean yeah. there's not not a huge head on it but it's like this shit this is if i saw you just drinking out of this i'd be like oh yeah you know whatever you know yeah. he's but i i think you know this shit is like so yeah, know, it's proper. Feel, I don't know. I feel like you get all of the benefits of drinking a beer, but instead of like waking up the next day in a fog or like just like not motivated, sluggish, mm-hmm. like, all that stuff, like I'm just ready to go all the time. And that mental change for me has been like a game changer. Uh, just like being ready to like, I don't know go attack every day and (laughs) get shit done you know yeah yeah no that's what that's what's up bro this is i think more people should go about it like that because like i mean it can be easily abused you know like yeah getting getting going yeah and i mean yeah before like you come home you have like two or three beers and Mm. just like watching tv eating dinner and then you go to bed you go to work you wake up back you have two or three beers with dinner and then like you know it becomes a routine and then your body just like takes on all that like excess like booze and stuff it's just like in your system and yeah like just switching to this has just been a monumental difference in my life and i just it's called well-being for a good reason like it makes me feel great but i also like and the fact that it does have like these guys have so many different varieties mm-hmm. i get to like try new stuff and try like yeah if i'm in the mood for a coffee stout i can go get a coffee stout <clears throat> and like just chill on it yeah that's you know that's the thing is they have and this this company they don't just have beers they have you know there's a lot of like craft uh waters and shit now you know right like yeah, uh, yeah. whatever they have they have their own brand of that stuff too they have a a, a melon grass yuzu bloom 
Yuzu. Which is like, yeah, y- apparently Yuzu, hibiscus, and rose. Whoa. Yeah. But they, have, dude, bro, they, these people are doing it right. Oh, well being plus CBD. Whoa. Okay. These are both CBD brews, these waters. Okay. All right. All right. 10 milligrams. Dang. Holy That's shit. Good. 12. Guess how much 12 pack is. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to go 28. <sighs> Way off, bro. Way off. 40, $45. $45 for a 12 pack? For a 12 pack of this CBD water. Dang. A mix 16. I guess like eight eight melon grass, eight yuzu bloom, sixty dollars. Dang, that's some expensive water, <laughs> right? <laughs> too expensive not weed water. <laughs> no, not weed water, but like that's what's up. I mean, they're doing. Oh, they're doing. They're having a second. Uh, they're having an expansion in into Virginia. Okay. They're doing. I mean, they're dude. They're doing it, and they have a good yeah. social media presence, like. Bro, they're, they're getting after it. It's just, this is cool. Yeah. I feel like it's a time, like I had a phone call with one of my best friends last night and mm-hmm. he was on the other end of the phone in California drinking a non-alcoholic beer. I feel like I've met a lot of people around yeah. our age that are just like, you know what? Like I'm kind of done with this. Yeah. You know, that might be a thing too. Like that, you, you might be onto something on that because I feel like our generation they're all about this hustle game, this side hustle, this I need this to make enough money because, you know, fucking the world sucks and we have to, yeah. you know, so no one's making enough money and no one's making the money they deserve. So, yeah, I mean, after a long day, maybe, you know, you don't want to waste it getting like faded. You want to, you know, have something that is the same taste, but you're not going to you know, wake up for your next 20 hour day and then be yeah. fucked up or feeling loose or, you know, yeah. headache or some shit. I mean, yeah. legit, I'm drinking this like it's just normal. So like any, any disbeliever, bruh. Yeah. I got, you know, I, I got plenty of other things under my belt. So <laughs> you can probably trust my opinion on it. Yeah. I honestly was like, man, if hmm. Pat likes this, then like, I know it's legit. Yes. It, well, I appreciate that. It is legit um actually another one you might want to try <clears throat> we've only had we've had a handful of uh na beers on this show or on our on quick six or stuff yeah and um our friends at lagunitas just produced one yeah and, Is it the ipna yeah yeah and I, I, apparently I, it's really good okay yeah, yeah so you can that find one. that yeah it, i mean they have one of the best ipas in the game so it's like yeah if Dude, they're, they're making an A1. Like regiment is yeah. a two-page menu. Oh, dude. It's I mean, it's 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 the cheesecake factory of IPAs, you know? <laughs> they're just yeah. they're just pulling them out. Give me the book. Yeah. Uh no, dude. This is I'm glad you turned me on to this. This is actually really yo pretty cool. You want to know low-key, one of the best things hmm. is now that I have these in my fridge all the time, it can be 8 a.m. in the morning. And be like, damn, I want a morning beer. I want an, I want a morning beer. And you can like theoretically, I mean, they do such a good job with the branding that you might get some looks if you like took it to work with you. But I mean, I'm like, if you got in trouble, you'd be like, okay, boss, look, this is what I'm drinking. It's like the same amount of alcohol as a kombucha. Yeah. Like, I mean, you could low key drink these anywhere, which is, rad. <laughs> but I have, I have woken up in the morning. And like had some coffee and been like, huh? It's like I want something else. And yeah. I'll go to the fridge and I'll pop a well pop one of these. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I don't think. I mean, I've done that on the opposite side though. Like you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, like, we've, all, we've all done like, it. Oh. We had a morning beer and just been like, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. But depends now, on the night you have before. Usually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hair of the dog. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's for real. But so uh, now you can do it and just like go to work and be clear. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I don't know. Yeah. I told I told uh Jake before we started that I was like, man, I got like four of these things. Like I'm a, I just chilled the one. So I, in case people came over, I don't know now. They might not have to buy <laughs> their own shit. 
<laughs> right? This is maybe a good yard work beer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, okay, here's one thing, too. <clears throat> when you start a project in the house or in the yard or whatever, and you're, like, working hard and 20 minutes in, you're like, all right, I'm going to grab a beer and I'm going to get back to this project. Mm-hmm. Right? And then the project starts to go bad. And you're like, <laughs> damn, I need another beer because this is starting to go bad. <laughs> and then you're, like, four beers into this project and you just, like, can't do it anymore. And you're, like, pissed off. You're kind of drunk, like, but now you can like drink beer and actually get your project done and uh, actually like, you know, and it's like still as refreshing, uh, 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 like mowing the lawn, dude. Yeah. No, I, lo- yeah, I love a, a lawn beer. It's, lawn it's beer. the best. Yeah. It's actually dude. not the best because shit always gets in it. You know, like you're yeah. It, like I have a, a ride on lawnmower, so it's like it has a cup holder. Yeah. And I swear to you, this shit you you can't you can't really do it like you kind of gotta cover it and drive with one hand you know that yeah. one hand over the top <laughs> over the top so there's no like grass clipping yeah thing. there's just shit flying in it dust you know all you know bugs you yeah know, a, a wasp love a beer you know what i'm saying yeah wow so wa- them wasps dude you want to know a weird fact about uh cut grass sure did you know that the what we smell as the fresh cut grass smell you know that that's a chemical that grass releases to tell the other grass that there's danger present? Really? Yeah. Huh. But I mean, what the, what is the Makes blade sense. of grass going to do? The other grass yeah. is screaming, get the hell out of here. And the other <laughs> grass is like, I can't move. I can't move, bro. <laughs> like, I'm ready for it, though. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. No, that's, that's, I mean, that's hella weird, but like, uh, makes sense you know it's like yeah. when you hit a wasp or like a bee or something yeah and then it has it releases a pheromone that tells the other bees like yo bro i just got assaulted yeah like, come and get this dude but, <laughs> uh that that was always weird to me but yeah i don't know like dude this well-being though dude i'm, I love I'm kind of tripping bro i know for real. i was about to say i love that you're tripping on it a little bit I really am. Like I, yeah. I was not. I was expecting. I was expecting good. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting. You had close low to great expectations, and we yeah. exceeded it. Yeah. So you know, well done. You know, they have a hashtag on their can: you know, raise well being. I don't know what it means. Also, on all their cans, they say with the gent with the alcohol gently removed. <sighs> yeah you i'm pretty sure you can siphon it out or like sweat yeah. it out is that what they just like sweat it out i don't know i'm not sure but uh yeah pretty, i don't know what know. the process is hmm. it's weird i don't know i don't know how you do this like yeah. whatever i mean there's like um i bet you it's similar to like the way that people take like uh no that's probably dumb never mind <laughs> Like you know, how, like people filter boo like booze, booze, like through different things, like through charcoals or whatever. I'll bet you some shit like that. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, who the fuck knows though? Who knows? No one knows, Jake. No, no one knows. knows at all. But Guinevere <laughs> or whatever her husband, its name is. What is it? Oh what, yeah, what? yeah, oh boy, uh, Jeff Stevens. Jeff Stevens. What's his wife's name? Genevieve. Genevieve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeff Stevens, the man, knows the, yeah. the knows the secret process. He knows the, he's the only one. Yeah. In all of the world <laughs> that knows how to do it. I can at least do it this well. Yeah, no, that's true. Um now this is interesting. I'm I'm excited to have <clears throat> to try more of these kinds of NA beers to see what's up. And I I like that it's like it's like the beers I normally drink. Like it's not, yeah, it's not some bullshit, you know. And I like that they're in tall boy cans too. So yeah, that I, makes I, it I feel more legit. I think. Yeah, you know, honestly, the dark amber and at least the golden wheat are both like twelve ounce cans, but the victory wheat and the IPA are in the one pint cans. Okay, so I wanted to do. I'm going to finish this, but all right. So for anybody viewing this on YouTube, I wanted to do a test. 
that's why I brought the other the other can. Okay. So um, this this color, like it's like a you know normal beer IPA color, right? Remember that, and then we'll we'll see the difference. <laughs> the finish is good too. It's not heavy. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I won't I won't say what this one is. But it is an imperial hazy IPA. Just so we're not calling these people out, you know. <laughs> but here's our here's our experiment. Okay. This is so that beer that we just had is below five percent. All right, 0. 0.5. This, but you cannot really tell the difference. No, it looks pretty like, much the same. It's pretty much exactly the same. I, yeah, definitely so if anybody, has a bigger like head on top, but. Yeah, but that might just be from the way I poured it. Um, but, yeah, but, I mean, legit, like you can't, if anybody's questioning how these people brew this shit, it's. There's, I mean, it's it's top notch. Like, look at this; it looks exactly the same. You couldn't tell. What if I just poured another one of these? Yeah, you couldn't tell. <laughs> Very well, could be. I mean, it's not, but it, it, you could. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just do a clips. See, there you go. Cool. Not the same can. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a much heavier uh, beer, obviously. But yeah, um, yeah, I wanted to do that. So you, I mean, you. Just so you could, the nor like a person who's never had an, an NA beer like me before this could see that is if you're worried about body or color or it's all dude, yeah, even the nose, yeah, the nose is it's great. tripping me out, it's it's really tripping me out, yeah. I mean, and I know that, like, I think Lagunitas did the hop water, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is like great if you're like at the pool or something like that. And it just like was clear, just water that they went and put through the hopping process. Yeah. So that was like kind of good. I had one of those and I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't think I like that. And <laughs> I kind of expected that this IPA was going to be something similar to that. But mm -hmm. yeah, when I poured it, it had a head on the pour. And then I took a swig and I was like, like full mouthfeel, full body. I was like, blown away yeah no I'm, I'm tripping like this the intentional ipa has more of an aroma than the one i just poured which yeah. is kind of blowing my mind like this yeah. one the one i just poured is way heavy and it's i mean it's like sorry you know who you are you know jake knows who they are nathaniel yeah. knows who they are but, <laughs> but uh yeah man dude I, you got me on this one bro you got yeah. me yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down i'm down yeah there's it's like just... a few moments where you're like you, i feel like you're like man i kind of want to say something like critical but i don't think i can there there is oh, like there's like i'm like huh i can't talk about that can art i can't talk about the <laughs> brew process yeah I'm I'm psyched because I'm getting swole as fuck because proteins. Protein, dude. I so it makes me think too. Like, what? Like the beer that you just poured. Like, yeah. how many grams of protein is actually in beer, or is three good? Or like, uh, have you been getting protein from other beers? No, there's there's some there's proteins in other beers, but it depends on the beers. Like, yeah. Also, I can look carbs. Do what? It's pretty low carb. It's a tall boy IPA for 13 carbs. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of incredible, honestly. Like, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Let's see if it has any more. It doesn't have. Yeah. Fuck. I was trying to see if there was any kind of proteins or anything in the one I just poured, but it doesn't tell me. Yeah. But <clears throat> still, though. Yeah, bro. If you go hit the gym on leg day, you leg know, day. Leg Actually, day. Actually, 
I ain't going to the gym right now, bro. My <laughs> my my gym is actually I've been actually skating, uh, trying to get out. You know, get it, get it for the last. Yeah. yeah, I've skated twice in the last three days. Nice. That's like more than normal for me. So yeah. I'm feeling. No, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling getting comfortable again, which is nice. Yeah. I had yeah. a lot of shit going on, so it's like it's nice to hop back on. You know. Yeah. Uh, your boy learned switching nolly heels. Did you? Yeah, it took me twenty years, but I got there. You know what? You do you. You know, <laughs> it, you really you couldn't switch a nolly heel. No, I feel like dude, that's a trick that you like should have. Every other flip trick, but hmm. switching nolly heels couldn't do them until literally last week. This man has cab flips. Just let, he's letting you guys know. This man cab flip, whatever. Yeah, couldn't switch a nolly heel, but. So- Glad you got it. That's yeah. good. So uh, soon. I'm not up to the point where I can do a straight eight yet, but yeah. I'm in there. There you go. There's this weird. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what it was. Maybe you were watching. Maybe it was sorry or really sorry. Maybe it was really sorry. Yeah. And uh, Bastion's last trick. He has that big switch heel. And I think Barcelona down that like that double or triple set or something. Okay. And it's perfect. It's yeah. like this is this is when yeah you know, I, I know we just released some footage recently, but this is when Bastion was like the fucking top dude in the world, yeah. right? So oh, yeah, yeah, because in in sorry he was like a little kid. Yeah, I mean he was still ripping, but yeah, I think in really sorry he like grew into his body and was, was just destroying everything. Incredible. So yeah. well, I think we were watching that me and my boys back in the day. And by the time we ended up, it was done or whatever. It was night. We had one street light out in front of our house. So it was like, all right, we can skate near the street light, I guess, to try because <laughs> it's hard as shit to skate just straight up in the dark. Yeah. But and but like hitting like gnarly shadows is just as bad. So you can only skate at it one way, you know? Yeah. Because you have to see what you're doing. Yeah. You have to and, have the light like coming into yeah. you. Like, yeah. You have to like see yeah, in front of you. And uh, I remember this one night we were talking about switch back heels. And, uh, and I don't know what the, the situation was. And it was like somebody was like, man, no one here has got a switch back heel. No one. And no I was one. like, OK, like we can try this. So me and my boy, Dan, we were just I swear to you for like an hour straight trying just just trying to throw them yeah and after probably like i'd say 25 minutes or so we started to get pretty fucking close like yeah. it was it was weird <laughs> and it was like all right this could be possible but we both had switch heels at the time so it was like oh we could probably do this yeah but switch back 180s are hard you know yeah. they're not they're awful yeah so but eventually, what there was one of those magic ones, and I landed in the dark, and it, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I did it!" <laughs> yeah, I did it. And then that was it. And then we were just like, "Ah, oh, guess, I guess we did it." And then I, the, it was literally the last thing I remember. Actually, there was one other thing that happened that night. A uh, what's it called? A uh, armadillo came out and ran across the street, and my boy ran after it and grabbed it. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's ter- that's a terrible thing to do. They're they're like hella diseased, so you can't. Oh really? Oh yeah, they carry leprosy. Whoa! Yeah, you can't. Don't touch an armadillo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not a, not a good look. You ever seen anybody with leprosy? It's fucked up. Like it's yeah. not good. Oh. Yeah. So don't do that, kids. Um. <laughs> um but anyway. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Anyways, uh, you got anything else to say about this well-being before we uh, stop recording? No. I mean, yeah. If you're looking for something, little... Uh, I was going to say on the lighter side. I don't know why. It's not on the lighter side. It's a it's full body, real IPA. But yeah. if you're like, yeah, looking to not get faded, looking to just chill, have a good night, but you still mm-hmm. want to drink a beer, yeah, try it out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think it's for people that, you know, want to drink um, beers with alcohol or whatever and 
um i think this shit is if you're gonna buy some of these or if you're gonna buy some na beers just to have around i think this is a yeah this is worth the pickup honestly i think anybody should try it just regardless because it's it passes my seal of approval like fuck everybody else i don't care <laughs> but yeah it's legit i'm i am happily surprised that you introduced this to me so thank yeah. you for that you're welcome man and yeah. uh you know we're gonna oh stay on so but uh, i'm gonna hit i'm gonna stop recording in a minute okay um but anyways it's been you boys this is a well-being intentional ipa go and check it out if you uh can find it i found it in a in a fucking weird sandwich shop so oh really yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh go ahead and check out your local sandwich shops you know for that na beer <laughs> actually yeah the deli down the street from my place yeah sells- 51st yeah 51st deli that's where i got it <laughs> oh nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah 51st yeah. Deli. shout out 51st deli that shit's fire dude so yeah it's oh my god so if you good. have not been go and get a four pack of well-being ipa yeah they got a couple of different ones there too so go ahead hit your boys up order a sandwich sandwich yo get that breakfast ruben oh yeah yeah they got good breakfast shit too they also have just a general good beer selection so shout out that spot anyway yeah um bro you know thanks for joining me on this bff this is great yeah man it's your boy pat ours this is my boy jake wyatt Go ahead and get yourself some NA beers. We out. Yeah.